Hi guys, I'm Catalina Popescu and welcome to my YouTube channel and my 30 minutes practice tutorial. So today I will explain to you about uh, some methods that permanent makeup artists are using to create eyebrow shading, powder and pixel effect. But before starting the lesson and the explanation, I would like you to join me and to do some exercise with your hands. Okay, so now because we are ready for uh, starting uh, the lesson, I would like to tell you and to explain to you a little bit about hand position, about uh, how you need to keep the pencil in your hands and um, how to uh, don't become stuck uh, during your work, even if you practice on the paper, if you, even if you work on um, uh, latex or even if you work on your uh, human uh, model. So uh, the most important thing is to have flexibility in your, in your um, fingers, in your hand and in your wrist. So um, it's very important that during the work you keep this flexibility because if you see in this moment if my hand is very flexible, it's very easy to create lines, to create shading. And if your hand is stuck and your finger are very tight, you cannot do this. Yeah, because you cannot achieve the same uh, movements because your hand needs to have flexibility. Um, in this way, you can simply create what whatever you like and more about this is that um, it's uh, in permanent makeup you need to have this flexibility of your hands because uh, you need to create hair strokes and these hair strokes are very curved lines and long lines and if you don't keep your um, hand very flexible and if your hand get tired it's uh, it will be very hard for you to continue to work so uh, that's why i uh, ask you to to prepare your hands before starting to work so now i will start with the, um, the first um, method uh, and uh, we will continue with the other methods Okay, so I have two different pencils. One it's a little bit more thin and one it's a little bit more thick. So the difference between these two pencils is uh, that one gives us also a shading effect. So I will get a little bit more closer and I will uh, be sure that you can see much better. So I will take the pencil which is a little bit more thinner on the top. And I will start to do the hatching, um, hatching method. So this method is about straight lines, but these lines need to be a little bit more dark in this area and more light in this area. So I will go again between these lines. I create the same lines starting from the top and going down and keeping the same pressure and the same movement so the most important thing on hatching is to keep your pressure here on top of your movement and going a little bit more without pressure and losing pressure down on the bottom of your movement so you need to you need to put your pencil down or your device because it's the same thing and as much as you go 
down you need to lift your pencil yeah so like this you will achieve this movement so as you see if i will go further you can see that here the line it's a little bit more thick it's a little bit more dark and here the line it's a little more a little bit more transparent yeah so now i will change the pencil and i will take this one which uh, for sure will give us also a bit of shading so i will start to create i will start to create same lines and if you take a look these lines are a little bit more thick and in the end it's more like a shading effect also you can achieve this effect with the other pencil if you just pass many times over your drawing so this this is our first exercise you can take a piece of paper and you can try to do this with me together so the difference between the first pencil and the second one is that here we already have a shading effect so uh, sometimes you uh, you will find needles that um, are uh, let's say less needle let's say one point needle which is uh, like this pencil so one point needle it's like this and three point three point yeah it's more shading effect yeah so if you use let's say one point needle you need to work a little bit more yeah on your paperwork on your model on your uh, latex so with one point needle you can be same as your pencil you can be more precise yeah so you can go very very um, well between your lines and you can add more lines without uh, having gaps in the end so now i will go a little bit more down and i want you to see that uh, if i will go a little bit more down i will uh, create let's say a bigger shading effect so easy i will go down but i want you to look very closely and to understand that as much as i go down i have almost the same shading effect so what i want you to understand is that here i don't want to see a line so this needs to be very very shaded so your hand pressure needs to be very light yeah so i will continue with this and you can also do this together with me So if you see, I can go back and forth just to don't create a line, to shade very, very well my drawing. So this is it's exactly the same for permanent makeup, for shading in permanent makeup, yeah? So even if you see, let's say, we have here some points you can go more and pass and try to shade all this and to blend it if you go many times you will see that that line or that points will shade will be blended yeah Okay, so now if I want, let's say, to make this part a little bit more 
uh, darker, I can go with the same movement, with the same uh, pressure, only here on top of my drawing. And to create more density. Okay, so this is uh, our first exercise. I will pass to the second exercise and I want you to take another piece of paper and to join me. Okay, so let's start the second exercise. I would like to ask you to draw some squares. Four or five, it's up to you. And I would like you, let's draw one more. Okay, and I would like you to fill this one by one with hatching um, technique. Uh, you can do it in this way. And I want you to have from the darkest to the lightest color. So each square needs to be a little bit more light in this direction. So I will start from here. Okay, so in this moment we have the dark color and the medium colors and the light color. So in this moment you can see that between these colors we have lines. Yeah, so it's not a continuously uh, color. It's we have because we want it to be like this. So this is the darkest and, and as you go through the light color, you can see all these other um, other uh, middle color. So now we will do again another exercise and we will do the same thing, but without um, separation, without our lines between. And now I want you to do this exercise and to create between your colors, not even one a line. Uh, uh, I want you to have a continuously color and uh, I want you to, to, to have a very good blending and a very good shading. So let's start.
So as I move further, I press less and I do slowly movement. I don't have any more pressure and I lift my pencil up. Okay, so now you can see exactly what I want to say. I have here the darkest color, the medium, medium, and then the lightest color, yeah? So this is the shading effect. So the shading effect is done um, with hatching and with, uh, with um, this movement, uh, with um, one uh, way of hatching, because we have another way of hatching, and we will go again to the second hatching uh, technique. So the second hatching method, it's uh, the same like previous one, but um, here you need to cross the lines. So you can cross the lines from different direction, but the movement is the same. But with this method, you can achieve shading effect a little bit more faster than with the normal hatching because um, adding lines after lines of course you already have a shading effect so as you see here already you can you can see the shading effect so it's a little bit more faster than the one way hatching direction So the color inside, it's very, very well blended. We don't have gaps and you can add as much as you want. Till you get your uh, result. method it's the contour the contour it's um, a method that it's used used for uh, making a one part of your drawing more intense so if you want let's say to shade your new eyebrow sketch and you want to make let's say the bottom of your eyebrow more intense you can use this technique so the contour technique it's the one that uh, make uh, more visible one side one part of your drawing usually is more on let's say the bottom of your um, eyebrow, the tail of your eyebrow, or if you want to sketch or to draw a um, very intense eyebrow and very dark eyebrow look. But usually in permanent makeup, it's used more on the bottom and on the tail of your eyebrow. The fourth method is stippling. So stippling is a method that you can use uh, between uh, your hatching 
or uh, cross hatching or you can just uh, add this method between uh, your uh, very let's say very tight areas or where you cannot add um, I don't know large movement big movement and you only want to correct or to add a little bit more uh, contour or uh, you just want to enhance your drawing and uh, you can just do this this technique it's very very more for details so uh, you can use it and try it because it's very easy and uh, very good shading effect and you can add as much as you like and you can make darker areas if you put more and you can have also light areas if you put less okay so finally we finish all the methods and now i will uh, do all these four methods on one eyebrow so uh, keep watching okay i will start to fill inside my eyebrow with uh, first movement hatching
okay guys so this is all for today i hope uh, the tutorial was helpful for you and if you want to learn more and to check my work in real time you can go to my youtube channel uh, Catalina Popescu Academy and there you can uh, leave your message and also please don't forget to subscribe uh, I'm sending you kisses and see you next time bye bye